Ladies and gentlemen, a few months ago, I did a story on a black man from Atlanta that was arrested for a crime that took place in Louisiana. And here's the problem. It was the AI technology that messed everything up. This man has never in his life been to Louisiana, so there was no possible way he committed a crime there. But yet he was arrested and jailed for an entire week waiting for them to straighten this whole mess out. And he's not the first. We've heard about other arrests and police arresting people based on AI. And this is why we say AI technology is racist. It is racist because we have seen these stories over and over and over. And the only ones that seem to have the biggest problem with uh, facial recognition are people in the black community. And the program is going to run the way it was programmed. So if the person have all kinds of racist uh, hang ups about people that are melanated, they're going to program that right into the software. So they have essentially weaponized AI facial recognition against us. It's just one more thing to, you know, bring against the black community. And I'm glad this man is suing. I'm glad there is finally a face and a name because I remember when I did the story, they did not name him, but they did describe what happened to him. And I'm glad he is not just sitting around and taking this. He is suing. The technology company that came out with the AI recognition and it's AO technology, black man sues Atlanta cops for false arrests over misuse of facial recognition. AI spent a week in jail. That just seems to be the story of the black community's lives. You know, y'all will try to get us in jail by any means necessary. And you don't care how bad you're lying. You have no concern about that, but you want us to look at you as the pillars of society and morality and IQs and all that stuff. You ain't none of them things. So let's get into this story. So let me just kind of get you caught up on what happened. It was a Friday afternoon after Thanksgiving, and his name is Randall Karan Reed. He was driving a white Jeep to his mother's home outside of Atlanta, and he was pulled over on a busy highway. The police officer approached his vehicle and, you know, do the usual thing, ask for a driver's license. Mr. Reed had left at home, but he volunteered his name after Mr. Reed, you know, was asked if he had any weapons. The officer told him to step out of the Jeep. He handcuffed him with the help of two other officers who arrived. And he was asking, well, what did I do? The officer said he had two thefts, warrants out in Baton Rouge, Jefferson Parish, a district that's on the outskirts of New Orleans. And of course, he was confused because he said he has never in his life been to Louisiana. And if you never been to Louisiana, then how on earth could you have committed a crime there? So what did I do? So, you know, of course, he's asking this over and over because he doesn't know what's going on at this point. So he was transported and he was booked into the DeKalb County Jail until he was literally awaiting extradition from Georgia to Louisiana. It took them days to find out exactly what he was accused of using stolen credit cards to buy designer purses. And he said, I'm locked up for something and I have no clue, Reed 28 said. So I think he's 29 now because it happened about a year ago. 
His parents made phone calls, hired lawyers. They spent thousands of dollars trying to figure out why the police thought he was responsible for a crime, eventually discovering it was because Mr. Reed bore a resentment. You hear that all the time. You look like the suspect, okay? Yeah, every black man, woman, and child always look like the suspect. Y'all can miss us all with that crap. So over the past years, as AI has become more popular in public safety fears, you know, there are several instances of the facial tech that runs amok and gotten innocent people, especially black folks, jammed up. And today, there's another, according to ABC News, a black man in Atlanta. So this is just going over the same thing that I just told you how he was arrested. So he now has a lawsuit. According to the lawsuit, Jefferson Parish officers used AI technology to identify three men who potentially use stolen credit cards to buy $15,000 of designer purses. Deputy Director of the Speech, Privacy, and Technology Project at the American Civil Liberty Union, um, Nate Freed Wessler, said that every single state in America has police departments that use this secret technology without being transparent with the public. We know you're all using this technology. We, we already knew that, come on. Weckler also said that every single false arrest on account of bad AI information has been black or African-American descent. He said every single false arrest in America are black or African-American descent. He didn't name any other race. That's how you know they have set up and designed this AI technology to work against us. That's proof right there. He's not mentioning anybody other than our community. So Randall Reed sat at a DeKalb County jail for six days while his parents and lawyers scrambled desperately to clear his name by sending information to uh, JPSO, that company that supplies this technology to police departments called Clearview AI, Inc. Well, obviously it's not Clearview at all if it's getting wrong people arrested. And namely, all Black people are facing these false arrests from this technology. Yeah, they need to be sued. It should be a class action on them. So, their CEO, Hone Tun Dat, released a statement that attempts to distance his company from the shoddy police work of JSPO. Well, here's my thing. If they were sincere about wanting this to work, they wouldn't use it until they can get people in that could fix the programming on it. So it does not act in a racist manner as it does now. And the fact that all these years have gone by and nobody has done anything to fix this technology, it tells me you want it to work this way. It's, it's working exactly the way you want it to, targeting us and no one else. Y'all tell me what you think about this video. This is a complete disgrace, and I hope he wins millions of dollars. I really do. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.